Live from Austin, Texas, and powered by 18 AA batteries, it's Retro Pals with Danny and Alex. <laughs> Hello, Alex. Hi, Danny. He's not fucking around. I ain't before. fucking around tonight. No, no. I am the least fucking around person in the world. Uh, one thing they don't teach you in Twitch school is that to cover obscure consoles, sometimes you gotta scrounge up a whole lot of AA batteries. <laughs> so here in the house, we have a lot of empty TV remotes, <laughs> a lot of unpowered game controllers, and that's because... Around. That's because I had to round them all up and put them in these things we're going to play exactly once. And well, I, I, I hope, hope worth uh, it. our house doesn't get on fire, and I hope we don't have any uh, poisoning. Uh, real quick, uh, carbon dioxide poisoning. Um, real quick, I gotta, I need a shout out. I must shout out everyone who subscribed up before the show. Thank you very much to Susiri. Reset 19 months of tier two. They say hi, pals. Hi to y'all. Hello. Uh, thank you. Actual deep deep 29 month reset. They say one pound. Uh, that cool dog with the bu- with the big yeah yeah the eye. cool dog thank uh, you thank you Ed Ed and Ed for the two month resub they say can't wait to see some waggle tonight and for once it's not because of some sort of shovelware on the week yep thank you I'm gonna waggle my ass off Simon the Digger resubs for 22 months and powerful tortoise resubs five months in a row and says Urban Outfitters two, two. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you all. Oh much my appreciated. Oh, thank you all so very much. Whew. Oh, we have something quite special for you tonight. Uh, something our patrons voted to see. This week's theme was a brand new console debut for the Retro Pal stream, Series X Edition. Your choices were a whole bunch of systems with the letter X in the name, including MSX, uh, Super Graphics, Vectrix, and of course Zavix Port. Mm-hmm. You know, Zavix Port has actually been featured in a couple polls before and it got a really tepid response, so I thought, you know, just it'll be on even footing with the rest the stuff here nope blew all of them away yeah, what just the hell? completely blew them out of the water there was no competition whatsoever <laughs> the people made their voices heard and what they wanted to see was the freaking zavix port whatever that is i we're gonna find <laughs> out we are going to find out so right about now you're probably asking yourself what is this zavix port what can it do for me well we've prepared a little intro video to tell you just that Folks, I, <laughs> go, go on. I would say, I wish we... We didn't personally make this no, video, there's, but there's, I wish we did. There's no way we could make something this cool. Folks, as you go into tonight's stream, I want you to consider something. Consider that for every Thomas Edison, there is a Nikola Tesla. For every Minecraft, an Infiniminer. And for every Nintendo Wii, a Zavix port. Please enjoy. Welcome to the Zavix. Welcome to the, Welcome Zavix. To the Zavix. Reality. The Zavix world is an interactive world. There are no boundaries. For example, have you ever wanted to step inside the games you play? Hell yeah. Right. Uh, I'll ask your mother. Introducing Zavix Virtual Baseball. You may forget it's not real. I've already forgotten. <laughs> Zavix is an interactive, evolving system. Zavix transforms the TV in your home. Ordinary rooms change into a different reality, full of exciting surprises. Can we please turn down the bloom? Zavix is everything. Zavix real, a whole new world. Zavix is the alpha and the omega. Huh? Introducing Zavix Virtual Tennis. The applications of Zavix technology are limitless. Are limitless. Are limitless. <laughs> I, I, I'm all in. I'm all in on Zavix. Get absorbed. Get absorbed into the Zavix. Gaming machine. And uh, we would like to use it to implement new categories like education and home entertainment and uh, health entertainment and many. SSD is an uh, R&D oriented company. Always seeking new technology and uh, implement new products. Ten years ago, uh, we made a decision to implement a new processor and uh, we would like to use it to implement something new. And uh, we spent five years and uh, eventually we can make it. Zavix, this is very unique technology. The other is uh, wireless. So as you can see, all our products with uh, some action. Zavix port is uh, totally different from the others you can play with your real action. It's real. A wireless is uh, one of the key. The it's States, real, damn it. We really it hope to make something new. Not toy, not TV game. Always we implement new stuff technology. 
we keep going, keep looking for the new technology, and we are going to introduce uh, new technologies to everybody. Man, Matrix Revolutions is kind of weird. They were on the Today Show. This is Today. Al Roker played it. Live oh wait, that's the other show, isn't it? I, Good Morning America. Oh, I don't remember. Whatever. We're excited to be here today. We're here donating Zavix products. Zavix court, Zavix tennis, and Zavix baseball and bowling. The Zavix game port uses human interface technology to measure your motions and translates them to... It was on the Extra, Danny! Changing the world of I remember Extra. We know it. Zavix Peter Nimmin says it not only provides a great time, but also a great... That guy's playing angry tennis. ...conventional games where you'll be sitting down, and Zavix allows you to be dynamic and interact with uh, the, the wireless controller devices to actually move video game. as you play. Zavix is much more than a video game. Zavix is an audiovisual interactive system that lets the TV see and respond to users' motion. So for the first time, using wireless controllers, you can stand in front of the TV and you can play games to start. In the future, we'll have products really? in home and entertainment and education. You know the, the new... Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's just cut that guy <laughs> off. <laughs> that thing's still going. That's what I'm All the way back. That's what I mean. oh, the guy have a rat tail in 2000 and... Forget He's about cool. what you think your television is. Now imagine everything your television could be. <laughs> Don't fall over the baby! I was gonna say you almost killed your Introducing child! Your little brother or sister or whatever! You may forget it's not real. Don't bowl the, the baby! Zavix port <laughs> is the gateway to Zavix technology and the complete Zavix product line. The Zavix port enables you to interact with your television as never before. The applications of Zavix technology are limitless. <laughs> Now, of course, here in 2020, we're well familiar with Zavix. They've taken over the video game landscape. There's no more Nintendo, no more Sony. There is only Zavix. But way back in 2004, this little startup of a company sought to, set, to change the world. Now, some of you may look at the, some of the footage and think, that's just the Nintendo Wii. These people are just ripping them off. Wii came out in 2006. Zavix port? 2004. What? <laughs> yeah, uh... That's kind of wild. Isn't Alex, it? why don't you set us up some background music? Turn on that webcam and oh, let's yeah, make yeah. the magic happen. Because, uh... <laughs> of course, we have to show it off via webcam. Uh, yeah, these games all come with their own motion controlled peripherals. There is no controller that you use for more than one game. Second. We're going to do our, uh, our special second. Libble Rabble, I mean, rather, uh, Technic Beat OST. Mix. There we go. Do it. Mix me up. All right. That should be good. Yeah, that's good. That looks good. <laughs> All righty, folks, ready to see. Are you ready to enter the real world? Oh, real quick before I uh, enter, before we enter the real world, I want to thank Sneaker Nuts for the eight month resub. Sneaker Nuts says I'm ready to, I'm ready to watch the Zavix Reloaded, and so <laughs> am I. Thank you. Uh, Zavix Revolutions was kind of overrated. <laughs> Shall we? Do it. It there on. it is. All right, Alex, do your business. I'm going to set up some stuff behind the scenes. All right, this is the Zavix port. Everybody applaud. It's beautiful. I didn't consider this. That's, <laughs> that's fine. Go Don't ahead. worry about it. It's fine. It's normal. Um. <laughs> I'm not breaking everything. It's fine. So this is the Zavix port. Uh, it's a revolutionary way to interact. <laughs> Tag sticking out. A revolutionary way to interact with your TV. Um, it's beautiful. This one looks like it was from Fry's at some point. Alex, um, what I want you to do is show off that price sticker, first of all, because this is my personal Zavix. I bought this from Fry's Electronics in, I don't know exactly when, it was well into the Xbox 360 and PS3 era. The thing was covered in dust. Uh, it's probably still covered in dust. It looks like it's been resealed because someone returned it to the store. And Alex, if you run your finger along the price sticker, you can feel just how... <laughs> These. Yes, there's Look a great that. there's a great depth to the price stickers there. This thing was discounted at least six times that I can count, and then they finally did their final clearance price, four ninety nine. That's awful. This thing retailed for seventy nine ninety nine, and the lowest they were willing to sell it for was four ninety nine. At which point, it sat on the shelf for years and years and years before I finally bought it and took it home. Uh, I remember this distinctly because. I took it up to the cashier there, along with some candy bars and soda. They rang me up, just started scanning everything. Then the dude picked that thing up and he said, What is this? 
And I had to be honest, and I said, I don't know. <laughs> so we were both mystified that day. I still don't know what the fuck this is, so hopefully I'll learn about the course of the stream. So why don't you spin that box around? All right. Give us the, the full commercial experience. Ooh, 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 Zavix port. Uh, it's, again, a revolutionary way to interact with your TV. Uh, the Zavix port is your gateway to interactive home entertainment powered by you. With Zavix technology, trademark, all one word, you and your family can step up to your TV and experience your favorite activities like never before. Oh boy. Hit a 450 foot home run, work out and monitor calories burned, or challenge up to four friends to a round of interactive golf. It's the most fun you can have with your TV. With your clothes on. I mean with your TV. Damn. <laughs> All right, so uh, you need to connect your Zavix port to a TV with standard inputs, insert any Zavix system cartridge sold separately, and get ready to experience Zavix. The Zavix port enables you to experience all of the Zavix system titles, and you can watch for new titles in these categories. We've got education, mm. entertainment, finance, apparently. F finance? Uh, fitness, health, home, and sports. Finance. F finance. finance okay. How would you do finance with special peripherals that sense? You got, you know, you've got your uh, stock market. Uh, what do they use? Gavel. Yeah, that yeah, a do, gavel. You got, you got you virtual stocks and a bonds to throw gavel. <laughs> Now the great irony of this is that I've never opened this. That's because I have a second Zephix. Alex, pull it out. Show, show everyone th what that bad boy looks like. This is the Zephix port. There it is. Oh, it's beautiful. It's shiny. Uh, show off the front of it, why don't you? All right, it's got... Oh, look at that. It's, it's got, got a power, power a reset, reset button, uh, and where the magic happens, the IR sensor. This uh, thing uses the same infrared sensors that a regular TV remote does. For a little bit of bafflement, why don't you turn around to the back side? Now, this thing has a standard okay. AC port, and next to that is an AV port, which combines composite video as well as left and right audio channels. All right. So I saw the the red the red white and yellow connectors. I thought, oh, it's offering a uh, an alternative to the all in one thing, possibly for better p picture quality. Sure, I tried that out during the stream. Didn't work. <laughs> so I looked above it, and it says video in. It does. Yeah, look at that. That's for video and audio input. Does any of the released Zavix games use that? No. Is it built into the console? Yes. <laughs> Maybe this is for finance stuff for you to like put in your your like stock ticker feed while you exercise or Possibly. something. I have Who even no knows? clue. This is all right. So, so at the start, at the heart of the Zavix right. is the 6502 CPU. Now, if you're familiar with CPUs, you think, oh, Danny, you're a dumbass. You misspoke. Uh, the 6502 is what was in the damn Famicom and NES. I did not misspeak. This really uses the 8-bit CPU at the heart of the NES and Famicom. That's because it was designed by a collection of designers who'd previously worked on the NES and Famicom. They were so familiar with the old 6502 that they decided to make it into their own games console. Mm -hmm. Now you may think, that, that's, that's not going to power any kind of games that look good in 2004, right? You're right. That's why they chose to put additional CT <laughs> CPUs into each cartridge. Each cartridge is not just data, it has an actual CPU which action, acts in concert with the 6502. Why don't you show off one of them cartridges? Okay, here's tennis. Um, I really like the aesthetics here. It has a nice uh, early early 2000s, late 90s, Y2K kind of aesthetic that I'm enjoying. It looks thin. So so to insert it, why don't you show the people? Oh my god. I, this is your okay. first time inserting a cartridge. You push it down. Look at this, look at this. Okay, so, you so, first, it's so a, where do you think you insert it? You can't tell. There's no like port port. So, so according to the instructions, there's not a port, there's a staging unit. So put it on top of the staging unit, press down, and slide forward. Oh my god, okay, hold on. <laughs> there you go! There we go! And now you're ready to play. Uh, if you look carefully at the top, you can see it's actually bulging up, which doesn't really look like it a is. great thing. But oh that's the way god. it's designed, that's the okay. way it's supposed to work. It's, it's, the, the, it's in! There's a lot of things about this, this, this that mystify me, basically, yeah. and I'm just trying to take stock of it all. So with all that said, why don't you hand me that system back, and I'll hook it up. All right, we're, uh... And you can show off our first peripheral. Oh, yeah! We're gonna start with Ooh. tennis. The big, the big hit with Wii Sports. Tennis! They did it way back then. And you know what? That controller is really solid. It's made up of really solid plastic. Oh, it won't yeah. break. You can probably really hurt someone with it, so be very careful. <laughs> it even has a wrist strap! 
what and is it that? even has a wrist strap as popularized by Nintendo and their Holy Wii. Holy shit. Yeah, you're going to see a lot of parallels between this and the Wii. So there was something something about this. Nintendo looked at it and said, you know what? I made this. And then they released the Wii. You could really mess someone up with this thing. This is... This is... I'm glad I wore these gloves in case I want to murder you later. This is really <laughs> nice. You got it on camera. You got it on mic. That's true. If I get murdered. It's all up to me. Yeah, Avenge just... me. All right. Okay, you ready, Danny? All right, we done with this webcam bullshit. Let's play some For games. Now. But what do the games look like? What does a 2004 console, contemporary with the PlayStation 2, GameCube, Hyperscan, and other great systems, what do those games look like? They look a little bit like this. Put it on. Okay. <laughs> Good. It looks great. real. <laughs> there we go. Welcome to Zavix Tennis. Ooh. By SSD Company. I have no idea what SSD stands for. Solid State Drive, I think. It's she. I saw someone mention in chat. It was like uh, Shinin Sedai. They're still around. Yeah, the company's still around. They are a, a Japanese company. They're into technology and mm -hmm. things like that. And here's the demo mode. This is what you would see if this was on display. Excuse me, I'm so choked up. It's, it's, it's okay. Get this is what mode. you would see if it was uh, on display at your local. Uh, What's a high-end electronics store? The one uh, in San Antonio is called Bjorn's. Oh, God. I want to say, like, Cons or something. <laughs> maybe maybe Cons. Maybe something like... Uh, 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 Montgomery Ward Electric Avenue. What's that one place that's not Hot Topic? <laughs> well... The one that sells uh, kitschy bullshit for people with too much Spencer's. money. Spencer's. Spencer's. You might see this at Spencer's. Thank you. Oh, good, my good God. Good save, Alex. <laughs> so the system itself retailed for $79.99. The games were each priced at $49.99, which is real nice considering each of them was packed with a unique peripheral, along with some very high quality reading material. All their manuals have spines. <laughs> they're they meant do. to be they're meant to be put on bookshelves for you to reference. They do. It's it's really interesting. So I'm actually gonna let the demo play out a little bit because you're gonna see the two player mode. You're right, I was we were thinking sharper image, not Spencer. Spencer's That's what is, I was thinking Spencer's of. Spencer's is where you can get like naughty naughty popsicle holders. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And sharper image is where you get like you go in there and you sit in one of the massage chairs until they kick you out. So we do have two tennis rackets, but we're not gonna play two player because I ran out of batteries. <laughs> I'm using every <laughs> single battery in the goddamn house to power the stream. Ready to do this? You oh. ready to get real? Yes, I am. So the company is called uh, Shin Sedai, and they make uh, programmable LED lights now that you can time to music and other fun stuff. Oh, right. Enter. The enter button is on the console itself, just like the Sega Master System. The fuck? Uh, on the console itself are also buttons to control the menus. I'm pushing them right now. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, Scarlet Swordfish. Adventures sells the Zavix with three X's. Now you can also control it by swinging the tennis racket, which is what I'm doing right now. Sure are. So Should we I only... get out of your way so you don't hit me? I don't think I'm going to hit you. Okay. I'm going to try not to. Okay. You can choose stereo or mono. Mm -hmm. I'm going to deeply explore these games because we only have a handful to show off. Mm -hmm. But this is it. This is the big showcase for the Zavix. Now the big question is, does it work? Let's find out. Again, I really, I really like this game and the system's aesthetics. I'm sorry. It, it, it seems. Oh my God, that face! So this game uh, has the license of all the popular tennis stars of the era, including <laughs> Be Lovely. Oh. oh uh, I F, F Powers. You got M Smashton. I think his name was Mike. Mike Smashton. Oh my God, M Smashton. A Raquette. Eh. Oh. Y Toprovsky. Mm-hmm. El Forhandica. Forhandica. Ah, from the Forhandica region of uh, Gris. G Greece. Oh, right. <laughs> G. El Corte. From Spain. And. A Champ. Champé. Champé is from Champé. France. Yeah, so all these characters I... have their own stats. They're good on different tennis courts. 
<laughs> Who do we want to go with? I, I kind of want to go with uh, with B. Lovely because he's yeah, American you gotta and you gotta represent face. the USA. That face, and he's full up on his hard meter, so I think he's gonna serve us very well. Hey, why? Oh, oh, that's a court. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're facing off against our arch rival, our point man. You know, I think he may be good at getting points. He looks like an android, like one of those David Cage androids. He's in poor physical condition. Hey, this music. This guy should not be playing tennis. Hey, this fucking music, man. I'm into this. Yeah, this is what they call minimal techno. Oh, we're gonna kick this guy's ass. Look at this. Oh, yeah. He's not even half hard. Let's play. Oh, he looks sad, too. So, this works much in the way that we Tennis does. That is, Wii Sports. You wait for the ball to approach, and then you swing the dang racket. There's a couple of sensors on both the front and the back of the racket, which interface with the IR port. And believe it or not, even though it's TV remote technology, it works pretty well. Yeah, I've noticed that this actually seems to be working. Yeah, it's entirely workable. They didn't half-ass it. Uh, neither in the technology nor the packaging, they went all out. Except for maybe in terms of graphics. You know, opponent, I'm actually asking you, Danny, do you know what CPU uh, the cartridge has? What kind of CPU? I actually don't know. They didn't specify that. But it did say that it, uh, the 6502 can interface with a whole bunch of different CPUs. Oh, that was in. Come on, ref. Come on. Or wait, no, I won that point. Uh, good Never job. Mind. Don't, good don't job, pay ref. Pay attention to us, ref. Thank you, ref. Yeah, we were not yelling. We're normal. I'm gonna pull a Pete Sampras out here. Or who was that guy who was always pissed off? Oh God, I forget. Oh God, why do I? I cannot remember anything about tennis except uh, except. Oh man, he's crushed. We crushed that man's dreams. Except that it's crushing that man's dreams. John McEnroe, maybe. That's it. That's who I'm thinking of. Yeah, it was definitely Arnold Palmer. He's my favorite yeah, Arnold tennis Palmer guy. Arnold was the most pissed off tennis guy. Okay, so the cartridges, some of them, I know the Super Zavix uses that CPU electric boogaloo, but apparently uh, some of the cartridges use the CPU as the SNES, a 65816. Okay, not to get too ahead of ourselves, but there was a sequel Zavix console released in Japan and other regions called either the Super Zavix or the Zavix 2. Mm -hmm. That uses a Super Nintendo CPU as the base. I think they just built that into the cartridges for the ones released in the States. And these were official US releases. They all got ESRB ratings. And they were actually in stores for a very short amount of time. 30, Personally, I never saw this back when it was contemporary. Not ever. Not even once. And I was the guy looking, just trawling fries for, for deals. You know, I was looking out for that shit. You were putting out your net and just pulling in the deals. Uh, Electric Brigley also mentions, I was going to mention this earlier, but I completely forgot. Uh, this, was, uh, this was, as Danny mentioned, this was sold in Japan. This was also sold in Europe as the uh, Domios interactive system. Uh, and it was sold exclusively at the sports retailer Decathlon. This was actually sold a uh, retailer here in Austin called Mansion Select, which, wow, I, I yeah, love my Mansion Select. I, I saw an ad for uh, one of those games earlier on YouTube, and Alex was shocked to see an area code 512, which says the Zavix is in the house. I guess. It's calling from the basement. <laughs> yeah, it's it's wow. Yeah, so it was it was kind of exclusively sold in certain stores. I know this was sold in, uh, in uh, oh, God, like like shop at home tv shit like qvc etc oh I yeah know this i is, definitely saw it this there. is qvc bait for sure absolutely tons of grandmas watching cable thinking oh sunny boy would love this i love what? sunny boy Let's see whoop on oops says this actually looks not bad it it's it not, works great it? all the all the input works fine it's just a simple accelerometer you swing the thing and it translates it to a video game swing it's just, they almost had it, you know? They almost had it. The one big differentiator, I think, between this and the Wii was that the Wii Remote was multifunctional, whereas this demanded that you have an entire closet filled with pr plastic peripherals. This is true. We've been sitting on this for so long. That yeah, my closet has been packed with these games. All of them are complete in box. They could take up their own room. Like, no, seriously, there's... <laughs> Hold on, I need to groove. 
This is the Australia groove. Oh yeah, I love this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so like there's a big, once Danny took out all the Zavik stuff, there's like a big hole in his closet. And after this stream, I'm gonna recycle all of it. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna God. keep the games in the peripherals, but the boxes are getting trashed. Don't worry, you'll get to see him on stream at least. Because believe it or not, none of this stuff is worth anything. It's you rare. Don't say. It's rare, but oh, save? Oh, these things have save data. On the card? Like, where does it save? I don't know. All right, top four. C Slam Vina. But oh, we got to take on El Corte. Oh, this guy's not a wimp like the other guy, but he is also in poor physical condition. What do you say we rush the net for this one? All let's, right, just, let's put the pressure on El Corte. Just... Because you can push the button to rush the net, <laughs> and it looks really awkward. Yeah, put in the pressure. Yeah, get him, Gotta get him, get his ass! Out. Referee. That was clearly in. Come on. We can all <laughs> see that that was in. Listen. This is a travesty. This is America, damn it. <laughs> Here in America, the land famously free of any travesty. Uh, I'm pretty sure Danny did holler sweet deal when he saw this here. <laughs> Fair, it is a very sweet deal. Like for that dream, that dream did take place at Fry's, so well remembered. I, I did, the Fry's is literally in our backyard, so I would go like once every few days at the in the in the store's salad days. Not so much nowadays. I haven't been there. In, I haven't been there in a long. I, the I'm store a, is spooky now. I don't want to go. It it makes me sad. We gotta go again. I it's it's just there's so little inventory because they wanted to pull a scheme with all their uh, retailers being all like, hey, instead of paying for everything up front, what if we didn't? You're going to keep shipping us stuff, right? And six months later, uh, the empty store tells the story. <laughs> it's really sad. But I did find a cheap Zavix there once, so, so that's a little bit of a bright spot. Oh, shit, he rushes the net. Can't do that shit. <laughs> He's got your number, Danny. Deuce. I should probably give this up soon, but... Well, I did save my game, so if we ever go back to this, I could resume my tennis career. Well, if you really want us to do a... I don't know if we have... I don't have the equipment to do a walking tour of uh, a fries, but if we did, I would have to get a cool mask. <laughs> I don't want anybody to look at my face. And then they'd be like... You're going to scare those poor few employees <laughs> who are still gonna working so there? Sad. They're going to be Those like... employees who go to work stoned as hell and just <laughs> wish for their shift to be over? God bless them. We're not making fun of you. God bless any retail employees at a dying store. There's a little bit more of this, so I'm going to go ahead and reset. Okay. So far, stream's not a disaster. That's okay, good. that's good. I'm, I'm shocked. Uh, you're being requested to go to Fry's at 3 a.m. to get haunted. <laughs> The boss baby called me at Fry's at 3 a.m. So in addition to the tournament, you have Exhibition, which is a generic one or two player mode. You saw in the demo that there is in fact a split screen mode, and it works pretty well. Training games. What do we got here? I love this music. Let's do a target challenge. Okay. Yeah, why does this game have great... Like, I actually am starting to get into the music here. Yeah, this this is definitely a step above your typical plug and play trash. Like it looks like it just at a glance. But I am swinging the goddamn racket. <laughs> but if you really look into it, they did put a lot of effort into the presentation, the technology, really everything. There we go. Uh, luckily enough, it doesn't seem like you have to do too much physical activity here. Uh, yeah, for this one, you just swing the racket. Yeah, Danny's sitting down. He's not, you know, but he's he's swinging. He's All swinging that matters sure. is that you're within range of the IR sensor and you have fresh batteries. Ooh, level up. You can wait. You can level. Yes. Oh, wait, you're just... Okay, I got distracted. I was like, yeah, yeah I'm does leveling up my elements? tennis guy. Yeah, I wish. Oh, what if you could level up and it could, like, save to your peripherals or some shit? Oh, that would rule. So or, like, like, your Fitbit? Or, like, a... It could be, like, a, you know, the, the Skylanders, except that it yeah, saves... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, like, with, with tennis equipment. 
You know, I'm pretty sure that all the Zabbix games were first party, but... Yeah, I don't think any were outsourced. They were all internal, from what I know. I was going to say, if anyone has any different information on that, I would love to know, because... I'm going to go ahead and fail out of this and see I... if we get a funny game over or something. Look at all these people who, yeah. came, to, who came to see me target practice in tennis. Uh, why did... Um, we'll, we'll talk about the Jackie Chan stuff when we get there, but it just seemed like a good license fit, probably. Yeah, for whatever reason, Jackie Chan was going around to different companies and licensing his likeness. I mean, if Kaneko can get him, as we saw a few weeks ago, then Zavix probably had no issue. Oh, for sure. I'm trying to hit it the other way, but instead it's perfectly hitting the shot where I want it to go. So maybe there is a little bit of fudging in terms of direction and uh, acceleration of your swing. It's 2004. Give him a break. How about if I just don't swing? I'll see what happens. All right, target there. Do it. Look in the background. They're promoting the United States of Zavix. I salute my flag. Your I just want to say, your flag is... It's really hard to put cartridges in your flag. <laughs> Please fix that. That flag takes up an entire closet. I look over in the chat for the first time in half an hour, and I see Zavix Karnov, and I've never wanted anything more in my life. All right, we're in fourth place, tied with L4 Handica. Smash Kinski, <laughs> Slam Vina, Hard Cortez! Hard Cortez! Holy shit! Hard Cortez oh. and Point Man are. I like Bacander. <laughs> oh my god. These are great names. Mm hmm. Yeah, there's nothing too wacky, nothing cartoony like you'd see in the Virtua Tennis series around the same time. This is all very serious. It's all just like a... It simulates a real-world sport. And you know what time it is? It's rally time. Oh, shit. I'm gonna show this off for like three seconds, probably, before we move on. But yeah, for what this is, and for the time it was released, it works really well. And I could see some families getting into this, much like... The Wii got the uh, the mass market appeal when that yeah. came out. Yeah, I'm getting a real mass market appeal vibe from this that, you know, actually feels authentic. Like, I could actually see, you know, this in, uh, you know, nursing homes and, and stuff like that, especially with the way they were kind of marketing it, too. Okay, hold on. Okay. The other guy missed the thing, and I have to get eight points. I didn't miss the ball. Why am I being penalized by the computer player being a shit... That's Shit's the United sir. States of Zavix, baby. I hate the United States of Zavix. I've renounced them. Oh, damn. We're moving. We're, we're, we're going to expatriate from the United <laughs> States of Zavix to what? The the United States of Retro game? Yeah. Okay. We're, we're going to call it uh, Planet Retro. There. It works. That's great. Come join our country. I'm printing up our own currency right now. I was, was going to say, I was, I was thinking more like, you know, maybe, maybe if, if we're going for a plug-and-play nation like, you know, the AliExpress... Uh, the People's Republic of the AliExpress. That so would work, too. Live in bootlegs. All great think, ideas. Yeah. All right, so we're going to move on. And I think for a special treat next up, Alex, why don't you put on that soundtrack again? Because mm -hmm. we're going to do another webcam session, because these always work well for us. Perfect. I'm going to give you the experience of opening up a Zavix-branded video game. Because we have the original box, the original material... Alex is going to demonstrate what it's like to buy a new game for the Zavix. Hell yes. All right. So my name is Alex. I just came back from Fry's. I paid a whole, uh, let's say, $10 for Zavix and some games. And one of them happens to be bowling. Yeah, so. let's go bowling. Yes. You remember Wii Bowling? The thing yes. that all the old people in the world played for like two years straight? And probably who still play it to this day? back so this so this is the experience of buying a new zavix game it's not a dvd case not a cd jewel case it's a big fuck ass box and this is the smallest of the boxes we have to show off tonight okay. it has okay so this is a big package but it includes a bowling ball uh a cart a user guide and a precaution guide yeah okay. so so the one impression i got from unboxing and hooking up all this stuff last night is it's not just like setting up 
individual games like I do on this stream, setting up each game was like unboxing a new console. So you get that new console experience with every single game you buy for this thing. All right. Alex, open. cracker open. Let's see what's inside. Look at this. They have high quality plastics that keep everything intact. You can see me in the, in the reflection. Hmm? You can see me in the reflection, but I that's so cool. I'm so sorry. There. It's no. all part of the experience. Oh my word, okay, so... I'm seeing the word excessive used to describe this, and that's kind of the point I want to get. Like, maybe so this is a little bit too much. I want to show off this user guide, as Danny mentioned. It okay. Is... Yeah, this user guide is typical of all the user guides, including it's... with all these games. Look at this binding! I'm sorry to be like this, but this is, has really nice binding. It's like... It's meant to be put on a bookshelf, yeah. Yeah, okay, I'll go into this more in a second. Let's get everything else out here. Um, we've got... Ugh. Okay... Hold on. Hold on. Okay. So I got this off of eBay. They were selling it as uh, open box, but included everything that came with it. Oh and it God. looks really good. Oh my God. Hold on. This, this packaging this... was designed in such a way so that... No, no. Okay. Okay. The okay. ball's a little slippery. <laughs> ball's a little bit slippery. So here's the ball. Very nice. But you know what? This is bigger than those Wii U, or rather Nintendo Wii bowling balls that were sold there. at the time. It's nice and hefty. It has a nice translucency to it. You can see inside it. It even looks like it has a little face the way you've positioned it. Yeah, it does. It's screaming. <laughs> it is screaming to roll away. Um, so we got some other stuff here. We've got... Why don't you see if you can flip to the page of the manual that talks about stuff that's only peripherally related to the game? Okay, so Cause, again... Because all the manuals have stuff that's just, like, not, not just how to play the game, but it's about often the history of the sport. It's about great boulders. <laughs> it's about the proper form to take when bowling. Flip to, like, page 20 or something, and you'll start to see stuff that relates less and less to the game. Okay, hold on here. Uh... And it's all full color, really glossy, thick paper stock. Again has not cheaped out on a single bit of this package. Not at all. Uh, trying to find that in here. Hold on. Chat says the extra hole is for... Never mind. Let's, hey! Uh... I can't... Don't say that shit when I can't moderate. <laughs> Everyone be nice about the ball's holes. All right. Um, here's one about improving your skill. If you're uh, going to play in a real bowling alley, mm -hmm. it tells you that you can play in a way closely resembling that action. It shows you your stance you should take right here. It, uh, That's what really got me, yeah, because it talks about how to play to an extent, and then it's just like the philosophy of the sport we're trying to simulate. Yeah. <laughs> Often giving a little bit of history and uh, just different insights into the world of whatever sport you want to play. It's really good. Yeah, yeah, there's there's actually not as much of that in this one as there are is in like the baseball one. But... I said I said great bowlers, not great boulders. <laughs> that's uh that's I was talking about dead or alive in that case. But yeah, no no, so you've got like you've got stuff about the games, about the tournament mode, and just it goes on, it's full color, really nice looking. Mm -hmm. Just gorgeous, gorgeous here. And then we've got um why don't you, I think there's a packing list in there. Why don't you check that to see just what everything yeah, is included yeah. in this? Yeah, but I think we've got everything here. Um, now, the great thing about this game is that it doesn't require batteries. It's the only game that doesn't. That's because the camera is built into the actual cartridge itself, unlike the other cartridges. <laughs> uh, why don't you show that off? The what? The cartridge. Oh, okay. Um, all right, we're real quick here. Uh, let me get the box. Oh, okay. Uh, one second. No worries, here, um... Oh, Danny. Uh-huh. I uh -huh. think the cartridge was supposed to be here, but when I opened it, there was nothing here. I bought this off eBay months ago on the promise it was complete. It includes everything except the cartridge. We're not going to be playing bowling tonight. Are you kidding me? I am not kidding you. My favorite part is that I include the packing list so I know exactly what's missing, and literally the only thing missing is the... <laughs> is the freaking cartridge. And now the bowling ball has collapsed to the ground. I was going to say we can use that as a nice hamster ball if we ever get a hamster, but not if that's the way Alex is going to treat it. So very quickly, we should move on to our next game, since we're not playing bowling. We're going to play baseball. All right. Do you have any peripherals you need me to show off for that one? Yes, very quickly show these off. Okay. This game comes with a bat. Mm-hmm. 
mean, this, this one crap first. This one actually does come with a cartridge. Uh, oh, thank the, God. the bowling one is the only uh, surprise I found last oh, night. God, I had it all hooked up and everything. I was ready to bowl, and it just wasn't there. So yeah, it comes with a freaking bat. Part of it is plastic. The end of it is rubber. The rubber part is hollow, so you can actually smack it against someone and it won't hurt. Uh, the thing is, there isn't much differentiation between the hollow and the solid parts. So if you do, as a joke, whack someone over the head, you're probably going to at least partially whack them with the plastic part too. So, yeah, here's, here's the, so don't the go to jail over this. This is the soft part, and then this part right here, just pure plastic, baby. Mm -hmm. there's, a, there's also a baseball. I like how you have just one glove on. <laughs> well, I was having problems manipulating the manual. All so. right, that's fine. And the ball, by the way, the ball has a wrist strap. The ball. Oh, yeah, and not just a bat. It comes with a freaking baseball. Because <laughs> you can be the pitcher and the batter, but of course those require two different peripherals. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Look at the that. ball has four different buttons on its face, which determine the pitches you use. And in the biggest heel turn of all of these peripherals I was wrangling last night, it uses triple A's. I was... <laughs> I swear, at that point I had inserted like 14 different double A batteries and I was trying to shove double A's into this one and it just wasn't clicking. I was like, come on, why won't these freaking fit? And it uses triple A's. It's the only peripheral for the Zavix that uses triple A's. So hope you have a lot of batteries and a lot of different kinds of batteries if you want to play with this thing. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I'm losing it. You're it's, an angel. it's good. All right, we ready to do this? We certainly are. Okay. Here you go. There's the bat. Please don't hit me with it. I'm going to be careful. It's very sticky and it's left a really gross film in my hand. Yeah, so this is used and whoever last used this put it in a place where obviously the rubber had start, started to melt over the years mm -hmm. and the end is quite sticky. Okay. Watch out for my sticky bat. I've, I've got a bowling ball in my chair. Hold on. There we go. Now I can sit. Let this be a lesson to anyone who wants to collect Zavix games. Make damn sure that when a seller says that the, that the set is complete, that it's actually complete. And by that I mean make sure it has the fucking cartridge, because otherwise you can't use it. Let's play some baseball. Unbelievable. I thought I had a full set of Zavix and then no cartridge. No cartridge for bowling. The one game everyone wanted to see. Baseball. We ready to do this? We are ready. I'm ready at least. Let me turn on the freaking... <laughs> oh, you got the ball just smacked off your face. <laughs> I think that counts as on. Okay, yeah, it does. Okay. Right. Some nice sound effects for this. Ooh, nice desert chrome there. Oh, I love this aesthetic. I'm sorry. This, of course, has a selection of training games like you might see from other Zavik sports games. Again, I'm having to lean down and use the buttons on the console. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like some kind of animal. Let's go with a regular game. This, of course, has a tournament mode where you can save your game. Mm -hmm. Let's fight the opponent. Okay. Alright, so this has all your favorite baseball teams. It's got the Spikes, the Red Devils, the Wheels, the Tidal Wave, Silver Fox, Bighorns, Troopers, and stray dogs. Stray dogs, stray dogs, we gotta, fight me, stray dogs. We gotta be dogs. the stray dogs. Oops. Oh, you can rename them. <gasps> what are you renaming your team? I don't know if I want to. <laughs> okay, we're not renaming anything. It's too complicated. You know what? What? Oh no, please just let me. It's fine. Don't, don't worry about it, everybody. I got this. Okay, what's it gonna be? The question is, is this worth it? Alex, what's your favorite game so far? Well, I really liked, I really did like the, uh, the bowling ball falling down and making one of the loudest noises you've ever had on stream. 
point where I'm like, should I, should I be, should I go and, and, and talk to the neighbors? Let them know we're okay. <laughs> like, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. They were just like, oh, they're messing around with the Zavix again. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. They're probably sick of that. We're the stray cats. <laughs> All right. We are, though. We are. Uh, a lot of folks really into the stray, uh, the big horns, and um, a lot of folks, uh, let's see, I see stray pogs, uh, stray cags, stray cogs. Oh, what's our what's our logo? Um, I, I like the one with the cats, with the cat on it. That's like, oh, it is a cat. I like the baseball with the angel wings. <laughs> that baseball's gone too. to heaven. It's like, you know, we're sorry we killed baseball. Uh, yes. Ah. There. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so first thing I want to shout out. I like I like how it actually changed your team name in the font with even the stroke around it and the little shadow. That is really cool. It's really cool that it did that. Who is this? <laughs> is this old Willie, the guy who owns the baseball stadium? Yes. He's lit in this. Actually, his name is Ah. Oh, right. His name is Ah. All right. I do like that they changed. Look at that. They even have it stylized over there. That's really cool. That it, it keeps the font. Shit, I didn't want to do this. We we're going to fight the silver fox, I think. Oh, man. Furry versus furry. Yep. Who's that guy on CNN they call the silver fox? Anderson Cooper? Yeah. Wolf Blitzer? <laughs> yeah, I don't both fucking of them. know. It's just... People are horny for Wolf Blitzer, right? People are horny for a lot of things. I want to go to the space station dome. Giant st oh man. Are we really going to a. I guess, look at that! We're in fucking space! Mm hmm. We're, uh, baseball. Welcome to space, everyone. Spaceball! Spaceball! It's spaceball! <laughs> it is spaceball. Yeah, it looks good. Yep. Uh huh. Alright, here we go. Alright. Danny right. Winger taking on Alex Luz. <laughs> Wait a minute, Danny versus Alex, really? <laughs> I didn't set that to happen. Holy cow! Wow! Awesome! Don't beat me! Swing and a miss. Oh, I'm just a fucking... Unbelievable. Innocent man! Badly timed. I'm turning my chair away from I, Danny. Don't worry, I, I won't know. hit you. <laughs> yeah, as, as you go along, you might notice... These things they give you are more and more deadly to other people who may be around you while you play these games, so be careful. All right, Tom Harrison, he won't let us down. God. You know, I... It does have voice commentary. It sure does. I, I am honestly... I would like to... I would like to think that The Matrix has better games than this, but, you know, this is the same era, so... 1999, Pinnacle of Society, or whatever. It's detecting that I'm swinging, but it's not hitting the ball. I don't know if that's something I'm doing wrong. Maybe the guy would throw a normal ball instead of doing this ridiculous shit. There we go! Oh! It's going! It's going! It could go all the way! Oh! That was a cool animation, though. That was cool. All right, time to put down the bat and pick up my baseball. The bottom of the first. Sammy Smith, that's me. Versus Brian Hogan. So this is interesting. The way you do pitching is you enter secret codes using the buttons on the ball. So like for a fastball, you push the two inner buttons, leaving the outer two ones uh, not depressed. So you push that and then you do a, a throw. The pitch. There you go. Nice. Overall, the pitching feels more responsive than the batting in my experience. All right, let's push all four and give him a knuckleball. Okay. The pitch sharply to center field. There's a base hit. And of course, the fielding is all automatic. Mm -hmm. Now, what I would have loved is an actual baseball glove that lets you control the fielders. <laughs> Maybe with like a joystick on it. Just something to think of for the future, Zavix. Yeah, just just c contact us, Zavix. It's high. It's flying. Is my guy going to catch up to it? He yes. did. Stray Cat's always number one. Todd Drabic. Let's give old Todd a slider. Like we do back in Philly. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> You're from San Antonio. I, I don't know what baseball is. And I'm is. from California. I don't, neither of us are. 
Let's do a sinking fastball. Okay. You see that sink? So yeah, it looks a little bit like plug-and-play graphics, but there's a lot of frames of animation. Mm -hmm. It doesn't look terrible. It's got a nice color palette. The whole pre-rendered look is kind of done by this point in history. But I suppose it makes sense. God, I, as far as I know, there is no homebrew Zavik scene. The Zavik scene is... Yeah, you'd need to burn your stuff onto actual cartridges, mm -hmm. and these cartridges, believe it or not, are not easy to come by. Not to say that they're expensive. You can get complete sets of most of these games for about 20 bucks on eBay. I actually don't recommend you do that, because whenever someone ships these, they get fucked on shipping charges. Mm -hmm. they, they end up weighing a million pounds, and you gotta send it by priority mail. Ooh. I always felt bad <laughs> getting these things, because they would often come with postage due. <laughs> Because no one knew how much it would cost to ship these damn oh things. Uh, the Zavix Everdrive is coming, Whoop. Uh, I was going to say, I'm pretty sure the Zavix scene currently is just you and me at the moment. Yeah, it's and... just us. No one has ever streamed this, as far as I know. Oh, it... yeah, 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 do it. Base hit. I want to get at least one run. Come on, Don. Hmm. What's great is I can feel the air from the bat very close to my hand. I won't hit you. I know you won't. You've never, you've literally always been extremely safe with this stuff, but it's just like... This, uh, I should note the baseball bat does have a wrist strap, which you can use if you're a wuss. Danny's not using it. He is. I'm strapless. <laughs> he sure is. And I am very close to the computer monitor right now, just in case. You you're never good. know. Hmm, grounder. Is that good enough for a base hit? It is. Nice. Roy Orbison, let's see what you can do. The pitch. Ah. The count is and one. Overall, I'm most impressed with this game. It's not fully featured because of the lack of fielding and all, but in terms of representing baseball with motion controllers circa 2004, it could do a lot worse. All right, it looks like there's a Zavik scene developing in our chat, so... Oh, what a slide! Nice! All right, if anyone wants to develop homebrew, I have the staging platform to do it. Mm-hmm. We'll, we'll start an entire Zavix homebrew section in the Discord. Oh, and two. I, I like the... I like the dynamic announcing. Like, I like that it's not just, you know, set clips, that it can kind of, you know... I like those animations. Those look yeah. really nice, actually. I was pointing at the screen with the bat. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't be trusted with this. Listen, I'm just going to say, don't do Xanax and do the Zavix, because you're absolutely gonna, you're absolutely <laughs> going to throw that... You're you're not going to pitch hard enough, and you're absolutely going to throw that base that uh, baseball bat at your friend. Now, there's That's a marketing right. tie-in for your ass right there. Well, now you're gonna, so we're going to get, like, what, Post Malone on it or something? Yeah. I don't know. You ever play Zavix on Xanax? You ever play Xanax on Xanax? You ever play Xanax? You ever play Xanax while on Xanax on your Zavix? Don't ask how. It's homebrewed. It'll be like that uh, that AVGN thing where he did Rolling Rock on the Rolling Rocker, only I'm saying, I'm doing Xanax on the Zavix! Xanax on the Zavix! You would not be saying it that, that excitedly, though. Oh, yeah. I'm doing... Xanax on the Zavix. Hooray. Oh no, here come the cops. <laughs> I can't believe I didn't get a run in the last inning. I had two dudes on. Let's see. Xanax Dev Kit is an NES bootleg console. Yeah, Chess been talking about it. I, you know what? I support. If you, anyone wants to scrounge up any info about this, please do. By all means. To go Baker. Weirdly, the biggest source of information on this is the Giant Bomb Wiki. And, yes! and a lot of that is unsourced, so the stuff about the NES developers being involved may be an entire falsehood, for all mm -hmm. I know. It's the kind of thing where the information isn't readily available, and very few people are interested in finding out about it. So, kind of a double whammy there. Yeah. Let's see what other games they got in here. Okay. So, that's a good couple innings of the uh, Zavix baseball experience. Luckily, they got other modes, including a home run derby. I'd imagine that's the ideal way to experience the baseball bat. 
Well, it did say, hey, you can hit a home run. Are you, are you hitting yourself with a baseball bat? I'm just tapping it. Okay, just, just tapping it. Just making sure it's not hollowed out, except it is. <laughs> I was going to say, it's totally hollowed out. It's hollowed out, and it's that nasty melted plastic, so it's like, ugh. Do you think that's like a... that? That yeah, could be like a way to like cheat, like you know, melt the plastic. And <laughs> like how, thing. like how uh, pitchers use Vaseline, or yeah, uh, yeah, or the Astros steal people's signs. Okay, okay, but they do that by banging on a trash can, which I gotta <laughs> say, I, you know what? Uh, let's go Strohs. Okay, <laughs> I, I was. That was fun, being like, wow, I can't believe the Astros are doing really well. I, wow, I remember when this team really sucked, and now it's like, oh, okay. they were banging on a trash can to steal things. My, yeah. my money is on Willie Wagner, whose baseball has gone to heaven. <laughs> Baseball's gone to heaven. So we, do we want a strikeout king, a junk ball pitcher, pitcher, a perfect game pitcher, or a rookie pitcher, do you think? Who do we want pitching in the home run derby? Um, I think we want a perfect game pitcher. You think so? Yeah. He has many kinds of balls. <laughs> cool. I, Normal. I didn't ask, Bobby, but thank you for volunteering that information. Okay, Powerful to Tortoise mentions at the Wikipedia for uh, the Zavix, and I, I looked it up, but I forgot to write this shit down. Thank you for grabbing this. Uh, uh, Japan got four exclusive games for this, according to Ooh, Wikipedia. Look at that. Nice. Those games are Power Kids, Power Kids Jr., and... Zavix Mobile Brain Club. I need to see Zavix Mobile Brain Club. I'm like, a member of the Brain water. Club. Like the deserts miss the rain. I need the Brain <laughs> Club. Timely reference. Yeah, so in this mode, it's a lot easier to hit dingers. That's what they call them, right? Yeah, I think. That's out of here. I was going to say, I'm the one in the household who actually kind of likes baseball, so yeah. I don't know why I don't know I'm the that. guy with all the fake baseball bats. Mm -hmm. Jesus oh Christ, dude. 100 miles an hour? <laughs> Trying to take my head off? Alex still nervously shirking away from every single swing I do. I mean... I, I don't blame you. Okay, thank you, Dog IRL. Uh, Dog IRL gave us 250 bits and says, this is all I can think of when you say banging on a trash can. Um, I'm afraid to click on that, lest it puts the audio into the chat, <laughs> but I assume that is uh, our pal Doug. 462-foot homer. Holy shit. I am the best baseballer. Yeah, you're definitely not on Xanax, but you're juiced up. Mm-hmm. It's right. gone. It's in the parking lot. 453 feet. It, it, Everyone sucks compared to me. It totally knocked out uh, someone's poor, poor windshield. Oh, I don't know if that one's going to make it. Maybe. Nope. Does it count if it bounces over the fence? Is that what you call a, a ground rule double? Did I know I'm, something you didn't? Yes, you you know a lot more about baseball than I do, and I'm a baseball fan. <laughs> you you did just... you know they have an elderly league where they stop at the seventh inning because they're all old? It's out of here. I, I, they used to anyway. I, I, was, I don't know I, if they still do. Just, they have a lot of leagues they don't have anymore. Willie Wagner hit five home runs for a total of two thousand one hundred thirty-six feet. He is now the best baseball player in the world officially. Thanks, Willie. Willie, you're number one in our hearts. The old Willie Wag. Wait a <laughs> minute. I wouldn't want to be called that. Please don't. Yeah, Danny, let's move on. This <laughs> is. So, hang on. I actually want to see the bios of the other characters because okay. that one guy had multiple types of balls. <laughs> I'm just curious. He's good at fastball. Okay. Good pitcher. Right-handed. Right that's that's all they can say about Danny Winger. He's right-handed. What do you want? He has many kind of balls, so he's... Oh. He, he is, is a speed, speed king. king. It's, it's too, too powerful. powerful. <laughs> so yeah, this is good. Uh, the other mini-games are just as mundane as you might think. Let's go ahead and just see what they are, okay. since we're here. Didn't count on how much leaning over to touch the actual console I'd be doing with the stream, <laughs> but here we are. Welcome to my world with the boxes. <laughs> I feel you though, it's alright. Oh right. Nice. Yeah, this is even less fleshed out than the other one because in the training modes it's literally just telling you how to play the game. So yeah, if you want to learn how to be an expert pitcher, the game will tell you. There we go. 
three games down, uh, two of which actually had cartridges. We should probably move along. We should, we should. What's next? Um, next, why don't you show off Zavik's Golf? Ooh. Give us a nice backing soundtrack. Mm -hmm. So, Golf. One of, the few, one of the four games included on Wii Sports, so obviously they had to do it with Savix. Mm -hmm. This has, I would say, the longest of the boxes, but not the largest. It is the second largest in size. Why don't you pick up that big green box? Are you kidding me? And try and show that, that on camera. Goes all the way to the, okay. Yeah, this is what takes up all the closet space. Fucking look at this shit. <laughs> <laughs> This is bigger I than actually any have box. To do a crane shot here. Hold on. Bigger than any box you would see for a game console these days. That's because it came with a sensor as well as two clubs. It comes with a driver and a putter. It's still going. Look at this. It's massive. Okay, turn around slowly and grab this. I don't want to whack you. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, so. Now these are, are you kidding me? These are not full size clubs, but no, they are not, they but... are very close to it. And they look the part. They're all plastic. They're not solid metal. You probably wouldn't kill someone if you hit them with it, even no. if you did it intentionally. But it can still cause serious injury. So please don't. That is a very here's the thing, you get so you have a normal club and then you, it also gives you a a putter. It gives you a putter. Uh-huh. Yeah, because golf is two parts. Driving and putting. That's I, it. I mean... Where's the other club, Zavix? Why not give me a full damn golf bag while you're at it? Why not give me, like, a little... Why, why don't you have, like, a little electronic uh, caddy, too? Or or one of those, like, profane golf club covers. Or maybe, like, a non-profane one. Look at this. These are so huge. Like, look at this. This is... This is absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, I could probably prop those up against a corner and at a distance they would fool someone. They'd be like, oh, you into golf? And I'd be like, yeah, on the virtual course. And then they'd leave. Wait a minute, this has a... This has Zavix on the back. Yeah. Very oh, you're nice. already wearing gloves for your golfing debut. Uh-huh, yeah. That's convenient. For when I uh, whack someone. So the heart and soul of this is this component right here. The golf sensor. This is a thing you place on the ground you point it towards the Zavix multi-port itself, and it transmits the swing data to the IR port. Yeah, you're supposed to put it down like this, uh -huh. and it's supposed to read the data. So it comes with four buttons. They're nice and clicky. You're supposed to hit them with your foot. So if you buy this used, be aware that someone's feet have been all over it. Ooh, I'm glad I wore gloves. It's new. I okay. bought this. This this is one I bought new. This came new in box. It came with brand new clubs, brand new cartridge, brand new sensor. It's got a lot to click on here. See if you can zoom in on the actual sensor. It's got it's got some neat details to it. There you go. Yeah, a nice little sensor. Multiple sensors to allow you to control the acceleration and direction of your swing. Now, having bought this new off of eBay you'd expect this to be in perfect shape, right? And everything is in perfect shape. It, it looks great. Brand new, straight out of the package. Last night unboxing this was like unboxing a brand new console. I set it up and I took out the clubs, took a few practice swings, and you might be wondering, does it work? In a word? No, it does not work. I bought this brand new in box and it doesn't fucking work. That's awful. <laughs> Even worse, look at the back of it. Now, one thing I really dislike about all the battery holders on these is that they're all screwed in with Phillips head screwdrivers. So if you ever want to play these, you're, you got to be like, hey, kids, you want to have some fun? And they go, yeah. And then you go, OK, go get the Phillips head. <laughs> this one, at first, I thought corrected that because it has a little uh, a little plug, you know, a little thing you stick your finger into and you just do that. I thought, oh, good, they finally learned their lesson. But there's a little there's a little lever and a screw. They did both. Why? Why do you do this? You only need one or the other. You don't need the screw even. What is with you people? Why do you torture me so? I am shaking my head. That's awful. Luckily this did come with the cartridge so we can at least see what the game looks like. But 
Yeah, I tried to swing that golf club so many times over this thing. It recommends swinging over it by about a foot. I tried it in every possible position. It was quite a scene. I'm swing glad no like, one saw you it. Swing, you swing like this, right? Yeah, ideally you'd, you'd swing yes. over it and it would detect it. The game never right. detected it once. Here's, here's a simulation of what would, what would actually be happening if it worked. This is a message to Zavix. Zavix? Folks? Sega perfected this technology with Samba de Amigo. What's your excuse? My excuse is that they're using, like, an NES thing. Come on, well. well, that too, but still. It's a solved problem. I shook those maracas just fine on the Samba de Amigo <laughs> controller. They detected height, even. Does yours detect height? Does it detect anything? No, it does not. Let's play golf. It's time for golf. Four batteries. I had to take out the batteries from my Xbox One controller and the Wii remote I use for our streams. Just to find out the thing doesn't work. <laughs> what I'm saying is collecting for the Zavix has its own unique set of challenges. Doing good, Alex. Thank you. Thank you very much to Mega Gun Puncher. Subscribed uh, two months in a row. Mega Gun Puncher says all these subs and you still can't buy proper accessories. I tried. We I really tried. tried. But thank you. <laughs> thank you. I promise for uh, you. Spent, listen. For, for, to, to the eBayers' credit, uh, this at least was genuinely sealed. There was no way they could test it out to see if it worked. Also, it may be my fault because they recommend using very bright light, uh, possibly natural sunlight. And apparently our one halogen lamp we have in here is not enough light for it to yeah, work. Yeah, it's, it's a bit too much like a dungeon. But if it did work, the game would look a little bit like this. Oh, good shot. So we can use our imagination. Okay. Fairway. Dixon. I love Dixon's eyes. Wait, did he put it on the T again? You're not supposed to do that. Oh, it's a different Dixon. What? <laughs> Why are there two Dixons playing golf against each other? <laughs> there's okay. a third Dixon. There's a there's three Dixons. It's loud. Wow. I, I I I just you know what if this is like all Dixon football? I mean golf. It's not football. Oh my. Is God. golf that exclusive that you're only allowing people named Dixon to play? Let's see. I mean that's still quite a few people apparently. Is there a fourth Dixon? No, there's not. <laughs> I like I'm, ha I'm having fun showing this off. Like, all this time I've had this stuff in my closet being like, oh god, we have to show this off someday. Let's see. I the merch says Ballistics Dixon versus Dixon. And I was gonna say, I love that this is such a prototype to the Wii that it even has the warning at the beginning that's like, use the wrist strap. Use mm -hmm. the fucking wrist strap. Use the wrist strap. Oh my god, use the wrist strap. You are fucked if you don't use the wrist strap. Use the wrist strap. Which Danny has yet to do. No, I don't need no wrist strap. So I'm going to let this play out for just a second more. Okay. Um, you know, we can use the actual... It's a uh, Alba. I was going to say we can use the buttons on the console, but I want to see who's playing now. Okay. Hey, not bad. Semi-rough. It's, you know... Alba? Benz. Benz. Oh, bad shot, Benz. Oh, That's going Benz. right in the dirt. Prove your game, Benz. No, it's fine. Uh, Mega Gun Puncher. I don't know if y'all heard earlier, but what uh, the console has a 6502, and the cartridges actually have additional processors on them. Yeah, it's thought that most of the cartridges have equivalent Super Nintendo hardware, whereas the system itself is NES hardware. That's so wild to me. Let's see how far we can get just by using the buttons on the console. Okay. Oh, okay. It'll let us enter the menu. Oh, this looks nice. Let's go to the clubhouse. No, I don't want to delete the data. Someone put a lot of work into their save data. <laughs> okay. Okay, you've got Marie. Sarah. Boy. Alba. Benz. Tyrell. Dixon. Taylor. Marie. Okay. Okay, so we're going to use Sarah, and we don't have a club or a thing that doesn't work. Okay, I'm going <laughs> to pretend to swing a club. <laughs> Who 
who's this jerk off? What 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 makes him think he's king of golf? I know how to play golf. It's your hardware that doesn't work. And yeah, this is the part I got to. You can swing and swing and swing until the cows come home, but you will get nothing out of this game. Is my sensor broken? Do we not have enough natural light in mm -hmm. our area? Either could be the case. I don't know. Alex, I hate to do this, but why don't we switch back to webcam? Okay. We're both going to suffer for this one. All right. Which Let me, let me see which one is next. Uh, next is Jackie Chan's Fitness. Oh, no. No, 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 no. This thing got a celebrity endorsement from our pal Jackie Chan, creator of Jackie Chan and Fist of Fire, sole developer as far as I know. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. And this has the biggest box of them all this puts entire console collections of mine to shame i could stack up all of my sega cd games and it would not be as big in size as this freaking box and if you're wondering who they got who could actually program on the 6502 it was original engineers of the nes uh-huh they were just uh. all about that 6502 and then they got ripped off by nintendo okay here we go Let's. Oh boy, let me just. I would. Let me dismantle the golf. Here. Just, just pace yourself. Okay. This is not a not a sprint. This is a marathon. Okay. Epic golf. All this is going right in the recycling bin after All this. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking. I'm gonna. I'm gonna reclaim my space. Captain Planet thanks you. If Marie Kondo tried to clean up my place, I'd just throw out all the Zavik stuff and be like, "Okay, done." Like we're good. We're good. She's like, "Wow, actually, great job." Oh, uh, okay. Better job than most of the other fuckers okay. we got on the show. I gotta, I yeah, have to lift, move lift all with your legs. Shit. Make sure you lift with your legs, not your back. Yeah, actually, I have to. This is this is actually bigger a bit than the golf box. Okay, um, folks. Folks, witness the J mat, the Jackie Chan exclusive fitness mat for the Zavix port. Look at this big chungus of a fucking box for this thing. This comes with a DDR style dance mat, two very high quality hand weights that are actually very well made. They're really nice. And it also comes with a cartridge. And unlike bowling, the cartridge actually was included with this one, thank God. Like, this is a thing. You could stack. What's like. What's, what's something I can compare for size? What is something someone's familiar with? Um, uh, Genesis games. Yeah, pull out a Genesis box. Okay, uh. This is your everyday average Genesis box placed up against this fucking thing. Look at this. It is big. It is thick. It is wide. It, it is. is all the things you don't want for a house with limited space. <laughs> yes, it's not good for a, a, a small place. Um, I just... Oh my god. So on the side, it shows what comes with... <laughs> Alex is struggling. This sucks. Man. Alex is struggling, but don't you okay. worry. I'm gonna be the one struggling in a minute. All right. Because I'm the one who has to use this fucking thing. J Matt. Um, I'm gonna I, put on my socks right now. He is. Uh, I'm sorry. It's like a DDR mat, except it's very, very, very wide. I, I was gonna say I don't think it looks like a DDR mat. I think it kind of looks like a generic maxi pad. It does. Oh man. <laughs> Well, now you've ruined it for me. No, I mean, I ruined it for myself too. Don't don't take all the glamour here. I'm 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 just as disgusted as you are. So should I show off the J mat? The actual uh, yeah. Why don't you? Okay. Try to. Okay. Let me just show off the back. Uh, you've got this cool lady. You've got you got you got Jackie up here. He's this is like, hey, this is what I'm trying to emphasize. If you want a complete and box Zavix collection, it will take up more space than you would ever believe. Don't <laughs> do it. It's not worth it. Uh, I see Van Alex and Chad. And honestly, I can't <laughs> say I disagree. Okay. Do you have uh, one of the weights handy? Yeah, let me grab that. Oh, boy. Yeah, it comes with two hand weights and quite solid. A couple of pounds, maybe like two to three pounds each. Yeah, these are really nice. They also have the logo on it, Jackie Chan Fitness. Yeah, this is all official. They did it up yeah, nice. It looks nice. This, like, legit looks nice. Why don't and... you drop that on the table and have it make a noise? See, like, it's a solid. Real, it's a real hand weight. This real is a freaking really nice solid. One. You could probably knock someone out with that thing. Yeah, you can. 
Yeah. I, I think it's I've strong. I think I've mentioned that for every peripheral we've had on here. It's ability to knock someone out. That one I think actually could do the job. Again, I think one thing we want to, we want the takeaway to be that these are the the the, the Zavix has such solid and good quality build uh, peripherals that you could definitely murder people with them. This mm-hmm. is absolutely the system. Alex already with, has the gloves. Uh huh. With the murderous. Uh, He's demanded that I call him OJ for some reason. Danny. Okay. So why don't yeah. you show off that mat? Because oh, that is the one thing that will not fit on camera. Okay. It's okay. all folded up. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Everybody give Alex a big hand for playing oh such a physical God. role on tonight's stream. God almighty. So this literally will not fit on the table unless it's bunched up. So let's move the this. Everyone's given Alex a hand by uh, by posting bandan for some reason. That <laughs> works. That works. Band. It's fine. So this is the folded J-mat. Um, you can see it's like this. It just, it is so, this is, this might be bigger than Alex. It might be bigger. It is humongous. A DDR mat at least takes up, uh, you know, a nice amount of square footage. It's nice and square. It folds okay, up. I have to show the mat in pieces here. Let this me... just takes up your entire living room floor. It also has that nice, uh, soft DDR pad feel to it. That oh, feels God. like you're dancing on a diaper. So this is the back part. For, we're, no. We're cool. <laughs> Knocked over the lamp almost. No, we're good. We're good. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about, you know, the, anything. Okay, so if I, I keep moving this, it's going to knock over Okay, the lamp, so but why don't you show the sensor up there in the upper left? Okay, thank you. Can you can at least show that part. To its credit, this thing only uses two batteries compared to the four batteries of everything else. So that's nice. Look There's at that. Look at that branding. Delicious branding. The J mat. The J mat. That's Jackie's mat. Very nice sensor. And why don't you show off the back of that battery compartment to see if they learned anything? Okay. Uh... Did they include a little snap enclosure, or did they include the hated Phillips head screwdriver screw? Well, much like the meme, they said, "Why not both?" That's right. They included both, just like the freaking golf one. Thanks to Stop Skeletons from Fighting for the Raid. Welcome everyone. Oh, this thank is you. this is something I can't quite put into words. My God. This is a pre Wii console that uses motion controls, and we're about to play Jackie Chan's J Mat. Oh my God! Welcome everybody. Let's quit uh, fucking around. Let's play this. All right. Here is the J Mat. How you. are we going to do this? Do I need to move? Turn off the webcam. Turn off the music. Let's Turn let, off everything. Let's let Jackie take over the show. All right. Jackie, I want to get in shape. I want to lose some weight. I got to be in tip-top shape here on Twitch. Mm-hmm. Okay. This is the part where we find out if the mat works. All right. I didn't test this one. All right, so where are you doing this? Oh, I see. Okay. All right, folks. Danny's Stand the uh, fuck back. All right, Danny is moving back to a part of the room where there is room. Just... Just as a reminder, we we do not live in a mansion. We do not make mansion bucks. We I do not even this. make condo bucks. So, not much room here. Does it work? The answer is I think I have to turn it on. I was gonna say, is is the sensor? Yeah, there's an on. Okay, okay, all right. All right, here we go. I love this. <laughs> oh, everything about this is beautiful. A thousand percent not working. This is awesome. Did it, did it work earlier? I didn't test it earlier. Oh, well. <laughs> Hang on. I'll reposition it to be closer to the Zavix. Okay. Hey, hey, something happened. Look. Yeah? Uh, a female, uh, age 25, weighed 100 pounds. There we go. All do right, it. we're doing do it. it. Come on, Jackie. Danny is skanking. I'm not doing Jackie, any of this. Jackie, quit being stubborn. Jan Jackie, okay. There we go. All right, what should we do? Step lively, vigorous step. What about what about what about Jackie's action run? It's in the running zone. <laughs> it's not fucking working. It's great. <laughs> Here's what I'm gonna do. Okay. Hello, power pad style. I'm gonna use my hands. Yeah, he's gonna put it in his lap. No, 
All right. Uh... Oh, look at all these songs we could play. Space Odyssey? That's a good one. Move to the beat. I mean, I, these are all on my iPad, uh, iPod back in the day. Okay, I now have this on my lap, and it works perfectly. <laughs> it's just like world-class track meet. It's like I'm six years old again. Where did you go? Oh, Jackie's so proud of me. Let me put my headphones on. You're not missing much, I promise. Thank you. That's really Jackie. They That's digitized really him. <laughs> Next music. Jackie. Yeah. I, 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 I'm your little butterfly. <laughs> Look at him go! There's a robot voice. You know, this looks like an, an entire Tim and Eric system, if you ask me. <laughs> I'm just leaving my hands on the center two mats. Mm -hmm. He's really got this big old maxi pad. Dude, Jackie Chan's doing a para para routine back there. So here's the good news. MAME team is currently working on emulating the Zavix. What does that mean? That means soon this will be playable and you can rip all these Jackie Chan sprites. That's what I want to see. <laughs> yes, please, God, I must... Jackie, I, yes, Jackie Chan marching, that must be the new meme for 2020. I am... Here's the unfortunate thing. In order to operate this, because it does use an IR sensor, it needs to have a direct line of sight with the actual controller. In our case, sitting the mat on the ground means it would be behind a bed, which means it's blocking the line of sight. It's nice that it's wireless, not so nice that it uses infrared technology for this. Is he saying I will bury you in the background? I thought it said I'm American. I, I mean, maybe. Shit, I just noticed I was tapping up against the microphone cord. Sorry about that, everyone. Also, I think I signed myself up for a 10-minute workout routine, you so did. maybe we should cancel after this. No way, no way. You, you, you're, you're, you're in it to win it, Danny. Okay, let's let the song finish. Okay. I'm just going to let Jackie show off his moves. You just go. I like that move. That's a great move. I love his hips. It's like something they make you do in Dance Central. <laughs> they call that the Jackie. Oh, you weren't signed up for 10 minutes, don't worry. You were signed up for 32 minutes. Oh, good. I'm going to die live on Twitch. Jackie Chan will have killed me. Now, I don't think there's any licensed music, but what is here is pretty good. Yeah, I heard uh, I heard the I heard the voice go, "Please say yes," which <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I will if you ask, but oh, he's getting into it. <laughs> I will hurt you. It's either I will bury you or I will marry you. It's, yes, I will marry you, I think. I think. Is that, can anybody make out the lyrics? That's pretty weird, Jackie. I mean, we just met. Yes. I yes. will marry you. <laughs> Is Jackie going to marry us? Are we earth? Can't wait to see his next dance. Do it, Jackie. Oh, he's taking it easy with this one. He's feeling the burn. Sure is. I wish there had been more celebrity endorsed things for this. Everything should have been celebrity endorsed. Oh, jumping! Oh, you jump and clap. I, I love that it shows you, like, he's shown you the actual moves you're supposed to be doing here, as, as we're just chilling. That's handy, it's, it's like DDR beginner mode. Mm -hmm. So, is there that mode, like, after this, can we check out the mode where he's, like, running around in the street? Let's do that, why not? Because that mode looked pretty darn interesting to me. 
it's so sad this didn't work like I think it would, but at least it's semi-workable. Mm -hmm. It's not golf. Here, here, we're getting, we're getting, we're getting some, you know, we're at least showing the folks what it's like as best we can. <laughs> and I love him! Now, by, de by default, this thing came with a user profile that had the default named A, mm -hmm. so we're going to use that file. Uh, this is not to say a 25-year-old woman used this before, that's just all the defaults. Someone wanted to put in as little work as possible setting this up. Okay, yeah, there was a second Jackie Chan game. Uh, Jackie Chan power, uh, the, for the system was called Power Boxing. Apparently, thank you, Abby, who posted a video of Jackie demoing the game. Yeah, but the boxing yeah. one, unfortunately, I don't have. Mm -mm. What to say we do beginner. Yeah. A uh, uh, quick change of resolution, I guess. Okay. All right, here we go. So Jackie Chan's just running. Ow. Ow. Good. There you go, that's good. Ah. I... Jump. <laughs> oh, Jackie. Hopefully this isn't making too much noise in the microphone. Oh, thank you. And we gotta adjust here, there we go. <laughs> look at you Yo, look at me go. <laughs> I just, all I can hear is the overwhelming diaper-esque sounds coming from- I know, from. it sucks. I'm so sorry. <laughs> no way, no way. I, I don't know what you mean. This is awesome. This is, this is why no one watches Network TV because we're all tuned into Twitch to look at Jackie Chan and hear the dulcet tones of Danny slapping a diaper. I don't think this is challenging enough for me. No. I want to turn it up to expert. No, Danny. Danny we got to see there. everything this game has to offer. Sounds like we're rubbing a bunch of shopping bags. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is my name's Jackie Chan, and this is my diaper. <laughs> <laughs> the stream is not approved by Jackie Chan. I'm gonna use the thing on the console. All right. Advanced. Here we go. Oh my god. This is it. I hope he's like dodging traffic and shit. Jackie. Jackie, quit fucking around. This is serious. Jackie. Jackie. Please, please, please be normal, Jackie. <laughs> there he goes. He's taking a nice walk. Don't worry about it. I just want you to know, Danny is doing the absolute most work humanly possible here. He is in a position I cannot even describe on the bed. Uh, half prone, half reclined, this half sitting up. It is absolutely filthy. It, I will not describe what it what it appears that he's doing to the console, to the mat. All right, that's enough of that then. <laughs> no way, no way. You got to keep going. We are absolutely not using the webcam on this. We. What if I just shook it? The motion sensing that way. Yeah. It's counting steps. The cat outside the door is screaming right now. She thinks <laughs> she, I'm being murdered. Yes, she, I'm fine. She hears this fucking diaper and it's like. Don't worry about it. Just run through it. It's fine. Look at him go. He's dancing Jackie. Ow. Okay. Ow. I will no no. The test doesn't want a diaper. She just she just <laughs> wants Danny to, you know, just stop streaming. That's a pretty funky dance, Jackie. <laughs> it is a good dance. There you go. There you go. Don't worry about that. Just smack into it. It's not gonna kill him. It's just gonna you know. See, it's fine. This is great television. It's all, listen, everyone loves watching Jackie Chan smack into shit. It's like, that was why Jackie Chan was so popular in the 2000s, because he was always just running into, running in the middle of the road, smacking into road signs, you know, classic Jackie Chan stuff. I'm tired. <laughs> Let's move on. Okay. Oh boy, are you ready for, to really move? Are you sure? Are we really doing this? Let me show off the last menu in this. Okay. Just to see if there's anything else to see in Jackie Chan's J-Mat. Wow. Well, that was amazing. I hope I never have to do that again. <laughs> yeah, that's true. She made Alex, I'm sorry you had to see that. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, that was one of the most intimate things I've ever seen from you. It was very... <laughs> 
I feel so close to I you. I feel so close to you, too. And to Jackie. Aw, <laughs> oh, we're all close to Jackie. Let's do the dash. You got it. Let's do that. I can do ten seconds. And a go. Right. Now go. Alright, alright, he's in... He's going. He's really going. His hands are going everywhere. And all the audience can hear is a slam diaper. New record! 94 steps. I win. Game Shout over. out to Danny. Give me a second. Okay, yeah, Danny. <laughs> everybody, everybody, good job, Danny. There is no good job Danny emote. There should be, though, because Danny did an excellent job. Last game we're going to show off tonight is bass fishing. Why don't we show off the game first? Okay. One second. Let me just grab this. So, I completed a vigorous workout with our good friend Jackie Chan. And mm -hmm. wouldn't you know it, he invited us out to go fishing with him. Oh, boy. So let's go fishing with Jackie Chan. Okay, right, let's turn the reel on. We'll see that in a second. One fun thing is... These have power switches. Mm -hmm. I mistakenly led, left this on all night last night, so I had to recharge the batteries before the stream. <laughs> Luckily, this should be fine. All right. Zavix Bass Fishing! That's one word. God, I worked... Thank you, Danny, for the help with making sure I got the Zavix branding right, because it's all over the place. <laughs> oh, my God. Now, you're going to see this controller in a second, but... Mm -hmm. It's pretty neat. It's got a little joystick on it, in addition with buttons, and of course, a fishing reel. Real quick, I want to thank uh, Dog IRL for the 100 bits. I don't want to thank Dog IRL for their message, which is spank that dike. <laughs> I, Thanks, uh, everyone. I'm cursing you before that. Okay. I have humiliated myself for your benefit, and I hope you enjoyed. God, I like the menu aesthetics. Oh, that's nice. Looks good. Free fishing, tournament. Let's do a tournament. It does sound nice, doesn't it? The controller sounds like this controller, I mean, not the other one. This one sounds yeah. it's a very, I don't know what you call it, visceral? It sounds good. It's visceral. It sound good is what I'm saying. Very, I guess, meaty, but I don't know if I want to say that. I Fishing like, in the Aurora Dam. Oh, man, I like, the, te I like the, the wavy effect on the text there. So you can use the little stick to determine where you should... Oh, I'm sorry. Did someone just shush me? Okay, shh. Choose here and then cast. It works just fine. It's hey. motion sensing for the casting. You can then slowly reel in. I really like the sound it makes. It is a uh, visceral, as Alex would say. It is. It is. It adds an element of verisimilitude to the experience. Oh, this here he comes. <laughs> Got him. Fish on. I assume this is like Sega bass fishing. Don't line tension too much. Oh. Yep. Gotta let him have some slack. Mm -hmm. Then reel him in. Get that fish. Get that fish. Now, I don't think it has force feedback, so the fish doesn't physically fight you using the controller, but that would be cool if that was the case. Oh, got him. Oh, nice. I got a nice little fish. It's... Excuse me, that fish is great. Do not do not insult my fish by calling it crappy. <laughs> Next fish. Someone keeps shushing me. I think it's a fish. They're just like, stop it. I'm trying to be a fish over here. Everyone's like a one pound fish, a one pound crappy. <laughs> All right, we have we have some crappy info here uh, from the opponent. Uh, hold on, what do you get? All right, the opponent says crappies are a genus uh, are a genus Pomoxis of North American freshwater fish in the sunfish family. Oh, they're, see, not so crappy after all. They're popular pan fried. You're gonna eat these fish? I mean, aren't you? I was just gonna keep them as pets. Where? In all the space I have from <laughs> from throwing out all the Zavix boxes. <laughs> uh, thank you, I asked for the 25 bits, I asked says, and thus the Crappy Pals were born. <laughs> I mean, we <laughs> always you. were the Crappy Pals, but I guess we're making it official now. 
All right, I think if I go a little bit to the left, I can land this blue one. What do you think? All right, I think you got it. Let's do it. Cast. This game is very satisfying, and that's all due to the peripheral. It's a very, very bulky and well-put-together fishing peripheral. Mm -hmm. I would dare say it's in competition with the Dreamcast fishing rods. It's just that good. Come on, you dumb fish. See how it lets you wiggle the rod? That's mm -hmm. pretty neat. What, am I not good enough for you? Fine, cancel out. I, I like this. I like the graphics. I like the mountain reflection. I, I think it's neat. The presentation isn't super uh, in-depth, but it does the essentials. And you don't need much to give a, a convincing fishing experience. Once again, I'd like to thank, uh, I, I want to thank Cool Coyote for the 25 bits, uh, but once again, I would like to condemn them for their message, uh -huh. which says, gonna need a diaper if you're out fishing for a crappy. That's true. Oh, That's sad, great. but true. Thank you. Fish on. Oh, we'll show you the, the fishing controller in a minute. Don't worry. Yeah. We got it. We got it planned out. We, we I want to give Alex a little break. Yeah. Alex, that hurt you. Man, maybe it is fighting against me. It feels like it. You want to try this? Okay. Give it, give it a reel. It honestly feels like it's giving me a little bit of pushback. I could be. Oh, it is. It, isn't no, it? no, I felt something. I felt okay. it. Yeah. Yeah, there's a rumble. There's a rumble here. Neat. Yeah, it, it honestly feels like it's pushing back your reel a little bit, which yeah. is something that even the Dreamcast rods didn't do. No, there's a rumble that is literally like when you hit this point. Yeah, I see it. That's neat. Man, maybe there's something to this Zabbix after all. Alex is about to land him a big one. We're gonna eat good tonight. Yeah, give him some slack. Give him some space. Tell him he's a good fish. Now reel him in. There you go. Oh man, I reeled in a fish! Nice work! What was it? Was it crappy? Show oh wow! Bass. Three pounds! That is, that. and it says, yeah, that is indeed target fish. So you caught the first street legal fish that we got here. <laughs> That's what they call it, right? That close enough. Yeah. Let's try and get one more. What say? All right. This is my favorite game by far. It's, it's just because it, whatever the technology is, whatever limitations were in place, it's mm -hmm. just enough to give a convincing fishing experience. I just wish that one fish would stop shushing me. It's the librarian fish. Yeah! Hopefully the noise coming through the microphone isn't too terrible. But I really do like it. It's a satisfying noise. It really is. Like, at least from over here on our end. And it's great when the line tension gets to the maximum, because that's when it really starts fighting against you. Yes, yes, that fish on logo is amazing. I want to use that for something. Also, apparently the noise is a little obnoxious, but that's fine. Well, that's part of the experience. Yeah. It's, it's better than me slapping a diaper, right? Yeah, yes, yes, actually. Let's, let's try and all forget that that happened. Let's, let's never slap a diaper again. I'm Jackie Chan. This is my slap diaper. Wow, zero followers and one viewer, and it's just Jackie Chan's eagle team. Oh, that's a big-ass fish. A largemouth bass. That's it. I'm retiring. This wow. is That's the best fish I'm ever going to catch. Yeah. Sorry, its mouth is beautiful. It is. And it's still shushing me. I caught you. You don't get to shush me. <laughs> well, let's see what else is in this game. Okay. Even the menus seem better developed than the other games we've seen tonight. This must be a second-generation Zavix game. My fishing data? Oh, it collects the fish you caught! Oh, that's so cool! Where's, where's, aww. Just like Animal Crossing. So, so would you say this is like the next Animal Crossing? I'd say so. Folks, if you like Animal Crossing, you will love Zavix Bass Fishing! Canceling my pre-order for the Switch Animals Crossing. Fantastic. You have to get your own copy of this game. Did you say Animals Crossing? Yeah, Animals Crossing. No way, it's, animal, it's, it's Animals Crossing now. Even 
the music is nice and chill. It is, isn't it? Let's briefly check out free fishing, because I want to be free. The Skyscraper Canal, where all the uptown fish live. Alright, we're fishing for Wall Street. We're getting the big bucks here. They say it's a bear market, but I say it's a fish market. Oh, I hope we get a day trader. <clears throat> Alright, there we go. Get him. Bright lights, big city, big fish. Oh, this is a lunker. I can feel it. Man, alright, if there's one Zavix game that I keep out of this big-ass collection I'm about to throw away, <laughs> it's gonna be this one. Actually, I'll probably keep all the peripherals just throughout the, the packaging. Folks, if you're looking for a beginner Zavix collection, seek out Zavix Bass Fishing. That's one <laughs> word. The fishing part is capitalized. Oh, he's a tough one. I got this. What if I use the stick to drag him around? Oh, you can jerk him around! Yes! Oh my god, yeah. you can! You can fight what with him! What are you doing? I'm gonna fight this fish! Dandy! This fish is a dead Do motherfucker! Do not protect your anger onto the fish! Got him. Spotted bass. It's beautiful. Look at it sparkling. Oh my god, that is... Alex, I'm quitting streaming and I'm taking up fishing. Okay. I found my true calling. It's fish? Yeah, it's out on the lake. Fishing. Zavix Bass Fishing, my favorite game on the Zavix. I didn't think I'd end up saying that about any of these games, but here we are. Check it out, it's fun. Maybe I just like fishing games. Maybe you do. I do have a pair of uh, controllers for the Dreamcast fishing games. Maybe we should check that those out sometime. I think we should. I think we should turn into an all-fishing stream. Okay, so sometime in the future, please look forward to us streaming Sega Dreamcast fishing games. Mm -hmm. Oh boy, so what's next, Danny? Uh, what's next is I think you should show this thing off on camera. Oh, yeah, not? yeah, yeah. One second I'm here. gonna go ahead and shut this off. You put on some some nice, thoughtful fishing music. <laughs> Give me a sec here. Oh, that was fun. Nothing I like more than after a hard day of slapping diapers than stepping out on the lake, catching a largemouth bass. Danny, we have new viewers in stream. Don't push um, too <laughs> Welcome, everyone. Your viewership is valued. I do not slap diapers. Only, only uh, when we have to here. Alright, so... Alright, so for our last webcam showcase, we are going to show you the the best peripheral released for the Zavix. Look at this thing. It is gorgeous. Of course, it's not the right size of an average fishing line, but it comes with two parts. It comes with the reel and the rod. Combine them together, you get a fishing tackle. It even has a little uh, adjustable nut on top, so you can uh, take off the reel if you want. Oh yeah, look at that. It's got it's got that. It's got a lot here. It has damn it, did I leave it on again? Fuck. <laughs> Turn it on. Turn it off. Hold on. Wasting my in loop batteries on this All thing. Alright, hold on. So this is how you turn it off. This is actually kinda cool. Okay. There you go. There you go. I like how tactile this is. This is that was, that was the word I was looking for earlier. This is very, tactile. Very That's a great tactile. word for it. Very tactile. Yeah, whatever technology they use for this, they hit a home run with it. The the reel is perfect. It fights with you while you're playing the game. And even outside of the game, it's nice and satisfying to reel in. It really is. I want to reel some stuff up. Me too. Give a give a nice give a nice overview of this thing, and then maybe you can go fishing. Honestly, I want to go fishing. Let's go fishing with this. All right. Okay. So there's that. We've got. Uh, let's see what's on here. We got an enter key. This is this is for everyone. All you all. Where is this? This is documentary historian work. Okay. We got that. We got the enter key. We got whatever that is. Got uh, that button. Let me let me give this a let me give this a whirl here. Let me let me cast this line out. <laughs> what you gonna catch out here, Alex? I hope fish. Hopefully bass fish. All right, all right. Casting cast. <sighs> okay. Okay. Now reel we it in. now we wait half an hour. Uh huh. Okay. okay. We're Wiggling just, it. We're just slowly getting drunker out here on uh -huh. the lake. Alex, I think you got one. Oh shit! Oh shit! I did. Okay. Did. Oh, pull it in. Pull it okay, in. Okay. 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 <laughs> Uh, so dip, it, dip it down off okay, the camera. Okay, okay. What you, what you gonna get? I don't know. What's, what oh. is it? Oh, it's huge. It's oh, huge. God, it's, it's, it's huge. huge. Here it comes. Look, he's pulling it up. All right. He's pulling up. Oh, my God. 
What the? No, this is not. No, no, this fish is not normal. Throw it back. What the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? Danny? Congratulations, Alex. You caught Kiss My Bass. I did not catch Kiss My Bass. Oh my, my god. god, I did catch Kiss My Bass. No. We no, are, sorry. This is, this is now unscripted and out of control. Alex yeah. caught a brand new toy for us to mess with okay, on the stream. No, <laughs> okay, I, I, yeah, okay. Um. Alex, why don't you, for no reason, mute the microphone for about 10 And we're back. Y'all ready to play Kiss My Bass? It's the craze that's sweeping the nation. Okay, first of all, well, what I need to do is I actually need to open the damn thing. So you know what I'm gonna do? Speed run. How fast can Alex unbox Kiss My Bass? Now, first of all, because this is reflective, I'm gonna put a shirt on. I, I've, I've been walking around nude, which is why I'm wearing gloves, so I need to wear- Twitch, Twitch doesn't allow that. No, so I need to put on a shirt so uh, no one can, you know, uh, get mad at me when they see my beautiful, beautiful body. So, one second here, and my- We're gonna be bassing. Oh my lord, We're gonna be bassing it up. I somehow zipped my gloves in there, so God that's damn it, good. Alex. Well, hey! We made hey. history. We caught a real bass using a fishing controller. Alright, so starts in five, four, three, two, one. And go! go. Okay, uh... This is uh, one of those infamous blister packs that the right. AVGN railed against. He claims it's bullshit, and personally, I agree. He's right. It sucks. It's bad. It's garbo. It sucks it even is. worse when these blister packages have scissors in them, which require another pair of scissors to open. Oh, that is the freaking worst. I hate that shit. Me too. This blister pack is not going good. Okay. I'm going, I'm going, I'm now, going. Now keep in mind, it has to be this way. Otherwise, there would be a rash of thievery of big mouth basses around the country. Mm -hmm. Okay, you'll see how you much... You can't just leave this on the shelf. Kids mm -hmm. will just pick it up and walk out the door with it. So, this fish... I've... I've I was messing... I'm, I'm holding this wrong this way. Uh, I was... Uh, Speed run's going great. Yes. <laughs> kind of wish I got my bigger scissors in here, but that was my own bad. I, I thought... I said I was going to go pick them up, but... And I was like, no, no, I can just use them with these smaller scissors. And that was a lie and a coward's move. Oh, bringing up box cutter strats. We should have seen that coming. Oh, God, we should have. Okay, can I open it now? Do it. Rip it open. Okay, I'm trying. But unfortunately, my gloves are in the way. So I must remove the glove. Oh, God, we're going to be banned from AGDQ. We're never, they're never letting us on. All right, let's get in here. Let's, I've, let's... I've submitted Kiss My Bass for Summer Games Done Quick 2020. All right, the rest is just going to be pure Alex strength. Yeah. There you go. We got him. You freed him from his plastic prison. There he is. There's our boy. Um, before we get started, I want to show you this copy. Uh, pucker up, buttercup. Pucker <laughs> the fuck up. Uh, I'm pucker. Um, so let's, let's look at the back here. It says, do what the bass says. Oh, time. Time? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> wow. Uh, someone in chat says that's around 128, so not Beautiful. bad. Thank Why don't you let the cat in while you're okay. out there? Okay, she's gonna knock this over. But... I know, but she's so sad. Okay, so we're also letting in our cat. Hi, Tess. Wow, good maneuvering. She maneuvered somehow all over the cords that we have set up here. Good baby. And so I want to look at this. This uh, this this copy has that Friday feeling. I'm just gonna say that. So it says. Do what the bass says, or he's sure to razz you. This fish isn't nice or sweet, and eventually he'll fart, and that means you lose. So, uh, folks, as for what this is, uh, are you familiar with Bop It? The hit craze that swept playgrounds in the 90s? That was a little thing where you could slap and twist and bop different parts of a toy in time to a rhythm, and mm -hmm. you'd have to get as many points as possible. Well, thanks to 2020 technology, we have kept that technology, and <laughs> we put it in a fish. So the funny thing about the fish is that it's meant to be passed around player to player, but I think I'm just going to play it like a bop it. Yeah. Because, is this... Oh God. And you might be wondering, does it talk? I'm gonna, it well, certainly does. Yes, it, it really does. Okay, I'm switching positions here so it's easier for me to maneuver. There we go. There's our fish friend. Oh boy. Let's so. hear from him. A 
Okay. Oh, think... zero points. You failed. For backstroke, I think I need to push that point. So push, he's him, got... push him to the left a little bit. Okay. Like so? Yeah. There you so, go. So he's got multiple touch points. He's got the th thing up here. He's got lips. Yeah, you gotta uh, either kiss him, slap him, pull his tail. He has tail. He's all sorts a, of normal, non-sexual things. Uh, he's got a gill, he's got a thing on this side, and he's got a belly. So yeah, there's a lot of touch points here. So let's try this again. Alright, get in the game. Good. I pulled it! No, no way, no way. Do better. Okay, you got one point. Try and beat that. I wasn't his belly. God, okay, the belly's here. Okay, I gotta really push that in there. Ugh, God. I can't okay. believe you pulled this out of his Avix, Alex. I couldn't even know what he I didn't even know what he meant there. He wanted me to jab his gill. I had to figure that out. Okay. Good. Mm. It's five. <laughs> oh. Yeah, the gill's on that side. That's five points. See if you can beat your PB. Okay, folks. You can do this. All right, I'm preparing for AGDQ. This is going to make a million dollars. This, this is the run. This is the big run right here. Let's go. Belly, my guy, no way. Oh, yeah, blame the game. was 10 points. As far as I know, that's a world record. Oh Good work, God. Alex. Good job kissing that bass. <laughs> this is the most disgusting fish man I've ever met. He's asked <laughs> me to kiss him, slap his belly, tug his tail. This is, I told Danny this was a fish meant for Friday. And Danny was like, no, no, we're going to put this on our normal Wednesday stream. <laughs> Even though this is the nastiest fish man. Do you want to try I'm good. Okay. Can Folks, I Folks, thanks for thanks for tuning in to the first edition of Kiss My Bass. Hopefully a recurring segment here on Retro Pals. We're gonna dedicate <laughs> half an hour of every stream to this from this point on. I'm oh, sure no. you're all fans. I'm sure you're all very much willing to hear more of what this fish from Bro Brooklyn, I guess, has to say. <laughs> Whatever it is, he's profane, he's not politically correct, and he's ready to to just tell you what's on his mind. And what's on his mind? Tell us. I tugged on your tail, motherfucker. Well, Alex, you have to practice your tail tugging before the next GDQ. I do. But I do. hopefully you can see the genesis of a new speedrunning phenomenon born here tonight, courtesy of the Zavix and, of course, Retro Pals. Well, there you go. That's the dumbest thing we've ever done on stream. I hope you're happy. <laughs> Am I happy? Yes. I'm happy, too. One more game. You're, you Really? All right. Alex I wants must. to do one more. I must. Okay, so your your PB is ten. Mm -hmm. Let's see you break ten. Three, two, one, go.
14. That was 14. 14. Alex, 14. Totally Alex, worth it. Totally worth it. Alex set a new world record and totally then broke it. it within the space of a couple minutes. All right. Beat that. Clearly, beat that. history has been made. Folks, if you want to compete in the esports arena, you can buy your own Kiss My Bass. Available now at your local bass trophy shops and finer Cabela's nationwide. You can get it in Cabela's Canada. You can totally get it at Cabela's Canada. Yeah, I actually saw an ad for it at Cabela's Canada. You go up to Ontario, you can pay in Canadian dollars. That's saving you money. It is. Look at this guy. Don't you want don't you want this nasty fish man in your household? So don't truth be you? truth be told, I didn't know how to end tonight's stream. And then the answer came to my doorstep. I forgot that I had ordered a discount kiss my bass. And as it turns out, I think it works great with the Zavix. If you get a Zavix, make sure you get the most essential accessory of all. Kiss my bass. Kiss my bass. Thanks for watching, folks. That concludes tonight's stream, an unusually physical edition of Retro Pals. Alex, you did great. Thank you. Good work. Thank you so much. Are we done? I... I think we're done. Turn off that music and let's go to the end screen. Alright. I'm exhausted. Pucker up, Buttercup! <laughs> Pucker up, Buttercup, because you just watched a whole episode of Retro Pals, willingly at that. You won't make that mistake again, but thanks for watching this one time that you did. Also, real quick, thank you. Uh, I, I, I uh, don't have a message here to apologize, but thank you to SSFSX for 17 for the 100 bits. We really do appreciate that, especially because I was fucking around with a fish. Thank you. It was, it was quite an experimental night for us, mm -hmm. and thanks for sticking around. Uh, speaking of Friday, since we got the Friday fish in the house, st uh, stay tuned for Mascot Friday this week. It's going to be at 8 p.m. Central on Friday. I think we're going to do Game Boy this week. It's been a nice long time since we had a look at Nintendo's portable console. Mm -hmm. That'll be fun. Uh, if you want to vote for what we play on our weekly streams, which somehow end with us catching a virtual fish, which then razzes us for about 10 minutes for some reason, please go to patreon.com slash retropals. Pitch in five bucks a month, and you can vote for what we want to play. This week was a landslide, which is kind of unusual for us. Usually it's pretty close. This week, people, they all wanted to see the Zavix port, and can you blame them after what you just saw? That display, whatever that was? They chose right, and I stand by them. Next week, I have no idea. How are we going to top this, Alex? I, I we don't got, know. We got to bring in like a, a twerking teddy bear or something. Yeah, we got like... Something a, to up the stakes. Yeah, one that can connect to like, I don't know, the Internet of Things. I need I need a twerking animal that can connect to the Internet of Things. That. We'll get on that for next Wednesday. That. But in the meantime, I hope you have a good evening. Mm -hmm. Alex, why don't you wrap us up? Okay, we're also on YouTube. YouTube.com slash RetroPals. We do post um, highlights of our streams there and the occasional scripted content. This week we put up uh, part two of our look at uh, Heathcliff and Garfield games on the Wii. So do check that out if you are a big fan of Orange Cats who are multimedia IP con superstars. My brain is dead because I Mine have is been too. playing with a fish. Welcome. Welcome to the dead brain pals. The dead brain pals. Uh, Retro pals. Dead of the brain. <laughs> uh, we're also on Twitter. Twitter.com slash Retro Pals HQ. Let me just type that in here. Why? While, while this fish just kind of gives me the stink eye here, and uh, you and we post up when we go live there, and we post when we have uh, anything going on, when we got new videos, all that good stuff. We also have a merch store open for until the end of February. This one is uh, it's like Teespring.com/slash/RetroPals, and we put that there. Uh, do check that out if you are interested in getting some merch, and uh, we do appreciate your support. Yeah, thanks everyone. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Thanks for talking about fish. We are converting to an all fish format next week, so be ready for that. In the meantime, hope you have a good evening. We're going to leave you with Aquas, who today has been playing Blaster Master Blasting again. He played a good couple hours when I saw him on this earlier, and since he's still on it now, you may actually get to see a rare glimpse at the later parts of that game. <laughs> when we played it on Mascot Friday, we played like the first half an hour or so. I've never seen more than an hour of this game, so I'm curious to see what's beyond that point. So go enjoy that, have a good evening, and we'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching. See ya, folks.